Hello, this is Jacobitz Learning, Reading Comprehension. This is really a slide meant for L. Okay, let's take a look. Lionfish have become the largest predator of fish in many coral reefs throughout the world. That is your main sentence. The rest of these paragraphs should be used to build the, the main idea. And if students haven't been around with the main idea, it is the main subject. It's usually found in the first paragraph, most times at the beginning of the sentence, but a lot of times it is at the end. Uh, so he's a predator, and people should understand this word predator because it tends to mean that he preys upon other fish or he preys upon other living species in coral reefs or in the ocean. What makes the lionfish a natural predator? The lionfish survives by hiding himself against the coral and remaining still. Since his fins are elongated and reddish orange, he blends into the atmosphere very well. The lionfish, therefore, is not extinct. In fact, the lionfish's population is very stable. Does the lionfish procreate? Yes. This is the reason he is not extinct. Uh, I took some notes here to go ahead and write X, E, X, meaning not here, or as you know from the word exit, meaning out. So it says he's not extinct, so he's not going out. And this sentence here says the lionfish's population, meaning the number of total lionfish, is very stable. Does the lionfish procreate? Yes. This is the reason that he is not extinct. Here's a big word here. We highlighted it for you. Procreate. Hmm. Wonder what that means. Well, you don't have to know what it means, but I'll give you a hint here. P-R-O means toward, pro, create, toward creation, toward creation of himself. So the lionfish will find a school of females who release their eggs into the water. The lionfish will release sperm and the sperm will fertilize the eggs. Therefore, the lionfish have been called a sexual reproduction makers. In reality, the males and the females reproduce through a type of cross-pollination, although they are not plants. Why is the lionfish a natural predator? He is a natural predator because he can camouflage himself. The lionfish can release sperm into a cloud of females who release egg packs. The lionfish will also use the end of his fins to release poison if he feels threatened. No wonder the lionfish is one of the biggest ocean predators in coral reefs. So you're taking notes. You've got to look at why he's not extinct. Draw conclusions. You have he's not extinct here, which means you should be going over here that he'll find a school of females. And look at this word here. It doesn't mean the females are sitting in a school, in a fish school somewhere. It just means they're a school of females who travel, okay? A school of fish who travel. A group of females is kind of what this means, okay? The lionfish have been called asexual reproduction makers, meaning that they produce without actually having sex. And I know this is a tough topic, especially if you're doing third grade FSA, but just try to get the students to listen to how it works. Why is the lionfish a natural predator? He's a natural predator because he can camouflage himself. The lionfish can release sperm into the cloud of females who release egg packs. Uh, and he also can use the end of his fins to release poison so he can defend himself. And the author kind of concludes with no wonder. He kind of goes back to his original statement, lionfish have become the largest predators of fish in many coral reefs. Okay, let's move on and do... Okay, we talked about this word procreate, and let's go over this again. Pro means toward. Create means toward creation. So are we creating an enemy? Or so was that what we're trying to do when it mentioned that the fish is heading towards a female? I don't think so. So choice A, well, I mean, I do think so, but choice A means procreate means scare an enemy. So that's out. 
Procreate means to create and have sex. It's a possibility. Procreate means to camouflage or hide oneself. Does he have to hide himself when he's going towards females? Is that how it happens? No. Procreate means to have a nice design. We didn't have this come up in the article, so that's not it. So your choice here is B. How is the lionfish able to remain unseen in the coral reef? The coral is the same color as the lionfish's fins. That may be true. Choice B says the other fish are green and the lionfish is blue, so they do not see each other. Okay, the other fish are green and the lionfish is blue, so they don't see each other. Well, I guess if the lionfish was blue, that might help, but we can keep that as a possibility. But we brought up the other fish are green. And this kind of brings up the other fish which is not something we need to know right now. The other fish are colorblind and do not see the lionfish. Okay. That's a possibility too. The lionfish swim fast as a lion runs fast. That could be a possibility, but do you really think the lionfish can outrun every, or outswim, excuse me, every single fish there? Let's cross out D. Let's deal with these others. Let's go back to B. The other fish are green. The lionfish is blue. Well, this is wrong because we already went over the color of the lionfish. And if you go back to your paragraph and read, it said very clearly that the lionfish was red and orange. Okay, the other fish are colorblind and don't see the lionfish. Well, did the author mention this about the other fish being so colorblind they can't see him? They didn't, and we don't know if that's true. So the only possible choice is to make an inference that since they are reddish orange, coral reefs are kind of reddish pink, and lionfish is kind of reddish orange, that's a close color to coral. Remember coral is kind of the orangish red. So that's how he hides from the other fish. The way the word school is used in the second paragraph, what does it mean? You read the paragraph. It said the lionfish will swim toward a school of females. So is it a house? Do fish travel in a house? Let's scratch this out. Is it a group? That's possible. I think I mentioned it as I was reading it. And see a place where people learn. Do fish go to school like some of you go to school? No. We use that as a popular slogan in English, standard English. There's a school of fish who are traveling. This is what this means. What is the main idea of the article? The lionfish can camouflage himself. This is possible for number four. Um, that They did mention that he can camouflage himself. Okay, The lionfish can have many children at one time. Was that the major part of the article? Not really. The lionfish is a predator who has many methods for staying alive. That's a possibility. The lionfish is the oldest marine animal. He is not extinct, but this never came up about who the lowest, oldest marine animal. In fact, it's, a, it's another fish. If you guys uh, go into middle school science, you learn it's something called a colocon. So that's not it. So... Um, so we have A or B. The lionfish can camouflage himself. This is part of it, but we want the main idea, the most important. It is C. C is the answer because it talks about the lionfish is a predator himself. He has many methods for staying alive, and this many methods gets into, guess what else? Camouflage. That's one of his methods. So if you can think about that, it's so one of his many methods is to camouflage. You can take this sentence in three is larger. Sentence three is larger, or sentence C is larger than sentence A. So A's out and C's in. Okay.